right guys so i just wanted to show you because i know that i've encountered a few people that people that have been having issues with this uh is loading cyanogen mod 10 uh, and 10.1 on a bell samsung gs3 now just to show you that i am running 10.1 unlock and i will go to my settings of phone i'm running 4.2.1 and if I go into my updates, you'll see on the bottom here, I'm running 10.1. And sorry for the shoddy video. The camera doesn't want to focus on my T TF700. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, when you load it for the first time, uh, you're going to notice that you're only going to have HP, uh, HSP, plus or whatever it is um, you actually need to modify that now from seeing a few videos I learned this code in order to get into the phone itself and change the network connectivity now you see right now I got LTE going but what it will have before is WCDMA preferred and you'll see that it'll say H, uh, HSPA there it is and you'll have the H plus on the top corner. Now, this is just H, uh, HSPA. It's not going to have your LTE speeds, therefore you need to change that. So what I did, I'll go ahead and put it into LTE GSM CDMA. And you'll see it die out. And then you'll see it connect. And it should connect LTE within a few seconds. Why won't you do it? Mm. Now, if you have problems, just toggle with it like I'm doing right now, and you should be able to get the LTE uh, speed of it. I don't know why it doesn't want to connect right now. I had it connected a while ago. There it is, LTE connecting, and then you'll see a 4G on the top instead of the, um, wow, it's really bright. Okay. 4G, I mean, you probably can't see that, but it does say 4G if you just take my word for it. And then what I like to do after that is go back into my settings and go into my more network options and actually select LTE WCDMA. And it will automatically, almost, it'll almost always be set to LTE. Now the only drawback, drawback with the, uh, the CyanogenMod 10.1 is the camera. It didn't, it didn't come with the new photosphere that 4.2 Android phones are supposed to come with. So what you need to do is actually load the photosphere in there. And I'll have the link down below along with all the other links that I used in order to get the uh, CM 10.1 uh, working so that everyone else can use it. Uh, and I just want to say special thanks to a few guys. I'll, again, I'll list that down below uh, as they helped me get this. Um, I'll also be posting the link for the background that I have because uh, I know a lot of people are looking for it. All right, that's it.